Developers are welcome to propose any outlandish scheme, whether it's coming into a residential neighborhood and proposing a hundred story tower, a floating parking lot in the lake, or towers on top of a park in rail deck. They're welcome to propose it, and we will say no. It's a story we first brought you a little while back on City News. Two competing visions over what to build over the tracks here downtown. Now tonight, the first public consultations are taking place. Mayor John Tory's pitch is somewhat of a field of dreams, let's call it. It's for a sprawling 21-acre park from Blue Jays Way all the way down to Bathurst, and it's said to cost in the billions of, the, of dollars. Now, there's also a competing bid from a developer, which we told you about just a few weeks ago. If you follow me, I'm going to show you the two notices here for the two competing bids. This one here on my right is John Tory's favorite one for a large park, and this one here is the developer's pitch. As you can see, some people in the neighborhood not too excited about it. It includes nine stories. It'll have condos, offices, retail, and the developer says they're going to set aside a certain amount of land, about half of the acreage for a large city park, which will cost the city a fraction of the cost of John Tory's plan. And they say, this, this is a bit of the kicker, they say that they actually have the air rights to build over the tracks. Legally, it's their rights, and they have the most viable plan for Toronto. We've taken care of a bun bunch of the infrastructure and make it economically viable for the city, for the rest of the park. It's not going to be all put on their backs or the taxpayers' backs or my grandchildren's grandchildren's backs. Craft developments say they'd leave 12 of 21 acres for green space. Along with their claim over the air rights, they also say they've been working with Metrolink's government officials and city staff dating back to 2012. But a little over a year ago, they claim they brought their plan to Councillor Joe Cressy. Shortly after that, they say they were blindsided by Mayor John Tory's announcement for a rail deck park, which doesn't include any residential or commercial buildings. The city still hasn't outlined how they'd pay for Tory's plan, though according to Councillor Cressy, staff will be coming forward with a framework for funding in November. The principle here for funding it is simple. Growth pays for growth. The developments that are occurring downtown will contribute the funds to pay for the parkland downtown. So this is a ridiculous proposal that's going nowhere and is dead on arrival. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's not the way it works. You know, let's, let's look uh, at what the developer is proposing, work with them, and save the taxpayers a couple billion dollars. People are fed up, Adrian, with, with the government sticking their hands in their pocket and uh, arbitrarily taking a couple thousand dollars out of each household. Now, city planners, the mayor, they've all said there is a need for this park here downtown as more and more people move into these vertical cities all around us here in the core. Now, the public are going to have their chance to weigh in tonight at the Renaissance Hotel over at Rogers Centre right behind me. As well, there will be a second public consultation at City Hall at 6 p.m. on September 25th.